Exports from Quill can be very heavy because of how much mesh and density there is. I'll show you how you can optimize your Quill strokes so that they're as light as possible before exporting to FBX or Alembic. By pulling the right trigger, areas within the circle will become more optimized. Quill will attempt to make sure the model doesn't look too different after it's been optimized, but you'll probably notice some jagged edges or sharp lines. Let me show you an example on this stroke here. If I optimize this S with maximum threshold, you can notice how blocky it becomes. If you use a lower number, it barely changes at all. It can be a balancing act so that your model gets optimized as much as possible without changing the look of the model too much. Even a tiny amount of optimization usually goes a long way when you're exporting. The layers palette will give you an idea of how much the mesh is being condensed. At the base level, this mesh is 272,000 polygons, or tries. By optimizing the entire scene, we go from 200,000 polygons to only 81,000 polygons. Once you've optimized your strokes, there's no going back, so be sure to only do it at the end, because it makes your strokes harder to work with, because you can no longer colorize them or warp them with the grab tools as easily. I've noticed that if you colorize a stroke, Quill will try to keep this colorization there. So if you optimize it now, it retains more flexibility than if you had never added color to it.